everybody out to Energy 100. Uh, today I figured I would do a quick video on like iguana, super super basic for when you eat your iguana into a new size cage. Um, I recently just got my iguana into a uh, new cage. I went from a 29 gallon tank to a three and a half tall, three and a half wide, one and a half deep cage, custom built out of kiln dried wood and screening. And it's got a, that full humidifier set up, all its lights set up nicely and stuff. So, but okay, so let's get into it. Uh, first of all, you need to Keep them on the same diet uh, as best as possible. Don't get ahead of yourself and go change and stuff too fast. Um, try and provide really, really good basking spots. A lot of good coverage areas um, where you feel safe to eat or to poop or get a drink. Uh, make sure you keep your cage very, very moist. Especially now that if it were to be a lot bigger, uh, it's going to be harder to keep the humidity up, so you need to be spraying it or get a humidifier or a mister set up. Um, you need to get your lights set up. Try and keep them on the same substrate so that they, you know, feel a little safer. Try and keep the same water bowl, hide leaves. You know, try and make it as easy as a transition as possible. Uh, think of it this way. If you were a five-year-old girl and you went from a tiny little house, maybe like 300 square foot, to like an 1,100 square foot house. Think of that. It's a kind of both small houses, but still. Like, just think of it that way. That'd be scary for a little girl or for whatever. That's just the way I, I, I like to explain it so that the point gets across. Mm, so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. My next video, I'm going to be talking about keeping your uh, iguana happy on the top half of a cage. Peace.